It's difficult to think about the tough issues in food production these days. The loss of rich farmland, extreme weather, and the reliance on processed food can seem too big to face, let alone repair. One of the most serious problems for farmers today is the mysterious die-off of bees, which are responsible for pollinating 70% of the food crops in the world. As fewer people are connected to growing food, many have forgotten that without pollinators like bees, flowers can't produce fruit, and then plants don't produce a crop. Since colony collapse disorder was first reported in 2006, many theories have been proposed as to why the bees were disappearing. Was it cell phone towers, parasitic mites, another unidentified disease? As the crisis grew, scientists were at a loss for answers, and the bees kept disappearing. A crisis as serious as this rarely has one simple answer. But recent research has shown that neonicotinoid pesticides play an enormous role. A study from the Harvard School of Public Health showed that neonicotinoids, which are applied to corn, canola, and soybean seeds, spread to every part of the plant as it grows. When the bees come in contact with the pollen of these plants, even though they don't pollinate them, they pick up the pesticide, leading to hive collapse. While we can't force chemical companies like Bayer Crop Science to stop producing these pesticides today, we can decide to stop using chemicals in our gardens and buying treated food. Plant an organic garden. Get your produce from a local farmer. Make your yard a haven for bees.